Alrighty, here's what you're going to need to make the three bean vegetarian stoop. First, you'll need one large onion, one bell pepper, and about one cup of carrots. You'll need four Roma tomatoes, three stalks of celery, and about eight cloves of garlic. Now you'll only need about a half of a lemon. Um, this is a large one, so I only needed half of it, but if you have smaller ones, you may need to use the whole thing. But you're going to use the lemon juice as a garnish for your three bean vegetarian stoop. And then you're gonna use uh, whatever's remaining in your side salad as a salad dressing. So that's what the lemon's for. Next, you'll need three varieties of beans. I've used black beans, vegetarian beans, and pinto beans, but you're free to use whatever you like. And then next, you'll need a can of whole peeled tomatoes, about a tablespoon of tomato paste. This, well, you'll need this can of, this entire can of tomato sauce. And then a can of fire roasted tomatoes. And the fire roasted tomatoes, are kind of like a salsa. They have a lot of seasoning and they're just, they're really good. I love the fire roasted tomatoes. And then finally, you'll need about half of a can of this size of the diced tomatoes with the green chilies. Now the green chilies add some heat and just, you know, just some spice. Um, they're per Half the can is perfect for me. Um, I don't like things too hot where I have to like every time I take a bite I have to drink some water or something I don't like it like that so this half this can is just the perfect amount of heat it's just you know the right amount of spice it gives you that heat but it's not too overbearing so um that's what that this is for I know you guys are like tomatoes tomatoes smith yeah tomatoes everywhere I love tomatoes they're just really sweet and they just add so much flavor to this stoop Next, you'll need about two tablespoons of olive oil and about a cup of barley. Now, barley's gonna thicken this stoop up. It's gonna make it really hearty, hearty for you to eat. And you're gonna think you're eating like some, some serious stew, like there's some meat somewhere in this thing and there's no meat in it. But it's, it's, barley just adds that extra texture to it and that thickened richness. Um, you can add whatever grain you like. If you have rice, you can use that, or quinoa, whatever you have, you can use. And finally, you're going to need your favorite seasonings. Now, you can, of course, omit all seasonings and just enjoy the natural flavor of the vegetables and the beans. But if you want to add some seasonings, you know, go ahead, do whatever you like. Um, I just added a little bit of what you see here. So let's get cooking. Okay, so first I'm going to get the oil started in the pot. And I'm just using one of those... But I think it's like a four quarter, four quart pot or something with, that you can uh, use to make soup or to um, boil pasta in. I'm going to add my carrots and my celery. Now you want to get those in first because those take the longest to uh, cook down, and I don't want them to cook down completely. I kind of want them to remain uniform throughout. So I'm just gonna put those in there and uh, get them to start kind of rendering some of their liquid and just to get a little soft for me. So I'm just stirring it here and basically starting the process. Alrighty, next you see here that they've cooked down. I'm going to go ahead and add the bell pepper and the onion. And you'll, you can tell that I kind of just rough chopped everything. It's because this stoop is very forgiving. Um, you can just basically rough chop stuff, <laughs> and um, by the end, um, you'll see that it just, it all just kind of comes together, and it all kind of just cooks down and gets to a point where, you know, it's kind of like a, basically thicker than a soup, but not quite as thick as a stoop, so that's, it's not, not quite as thick as a stew. that's why I call it a stoop, I actually got that from Rachel Ray, um, she makes stoops. Okay, so here you can tell that the vegetables have kind of cooked down. I'm adding my garlic uh, last. And I do that because uh, garlic tends to burn. So you kind of want to be getting ready to do something when you add the garlic. So, um, and once you add the garlic, the, the whole house starts to smell really, really good. Garlic just 
just makes everything wonderful. I actually eat garlic by the clove raw. I love garlic. I love it roasted. I love it in everything. So I put tons of it in stuff. So I'm just adding it here and kind of getting it mixed in to the vegetables. And uh, coming up, you'll see that the vegetables have kind of cooked down quite a bit uh, from the beginning. I'm adding the all of the tomato, the cans of tomato uh, sauce, the uh, whole tomatoes. I'm going to go ahead and add in the fire roasted tomatoes as well. Now those tomatoes are whole and you're going to see me kind of crush them um, after I get all of the tomato products, tomato based stuff in, all the canned stuff in. Um, just showing you what I'm putting in, but I kind of crushed those down. So I suppose I could probably just use all fresh tomatoes if I wanted to. But um, I don't know, it's just something about the juice from the canned tomato stuff that um, just kind of adds some flavor um, that I can't quite seem to mimic with just fresh tomatoes. Though I add those too. Uh, because they add their own texture. So, I mean, I add those two. And here I'm just adding half the can of the diced uh, tomatoes with the green chilies. You can see the green chilies in there. I'm just going to go ahead and crush those tomatoes up. And then you just kind of, I mean, it's not, it's not really, you know, it's not rocket science. We're not reinventing the wheel here, people. <laughs> we're just, we're just making some stoop. <laughs> and you can see the carrots and everything in there. I just, I love the way it looks because you see all the colors, you know, all the veggies. And you can just tell that it's something that's really, really good for you. And so uh, here at the very end, I'm going to go ahead and add in the uh, Roman tomatoes that I sliced. And I'm just going to kind of mix those in a little bit and uh, add those to uh, what's becoming our stoop. You can kind of see it coming together now. It's starting to kind of make sense <laughs> and starting to really, really look good. Now, at this point, you can start to add your seasoning if you wanted to um, and start to test it to see. Uh, here, I'm getting, I'm prepping the beans. And what I do is canned beans come uh, packaged or canned in some type of liquid. And I just really want to get that off of all of the beans because it, it has its own flavor. And I mean, if you like that flavor, you know, by all means, keep it in. And it, it will also add more liquid to your stoop. But I'm not I'm not really a fan of that liquid. So I try to get as much of that off of the beans as I possibly can. So all I'm doing here is I'm just dropping them all into a colander uh, under some running water. And um, just I'm just going to basically let the water kind of wash all that stuff away. And... Uh, yeah, because, I don't know, I just, there's just something about, I don't like the liquid. <laughs> I really don't. I always, even when I'm cooking just regular beans, I kind of get rid of the liquid because I'm not really a fan of it. And uh, here, you see the uh, tomato and the tomatoes and the vegetables have been cooking probably for about 25 minutes. You see everything is starting to cook down now. I'm going to go ahead and add the beans to the pot. And you just see how the beans add their own color and their own uh, texture to the pot. As soon as they go in, it's like party. <laughs> it's like party time. Uh, please forgive all the jittering. I really didn't realize how hard it was to video with one camera and cook. So <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do here. Just trying to um, stir the pot and hold the camera. So you can kind of start to see the carrots. You see all the different colors. And like that just really starts to appeal to me um, visually. I love the colors, just all the vibrant stuff. And it just looks like something that's just really, really good for you. So, um, yeah, so we got the beans in and I'm just kind of stirring it up a little bit. Um, and you can also season here, you know, whenever you add something to the pot, you can always season and just kind of taste it along the way. All you're doing is really just heating stuff up because all this stuff is, you know, basically you can eat it raw. Okay, here I'm adding the one cup of barley. Now this barley has been rinsed. Um, so yeah, I'm just adding a cup to the pot here. And you'd be surprised, just one cup really does, you know, it adds 
a lot of bulk to the um, stoop. So I'm going to put the barley in and the package directions uh, say to let it cook for 45 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so here you can see that the barley has cooked and the stoop is all thick. It's been about 45 minutes and everything has basically um, cooked together. Uh, you can see some of the, the, the juice there from the tomatoes. The camera's kind of getting all foggy from the steam. Um, but yeah, there are the beans and uh, all the veggies and everything. Everything just you know, really came together really well. Alrighty, so here's the finished product. Uh, this is our stoop. I added some Italian seasoning um, on top. And it's in a container I got from Chick-fil-A that had uh, ranch dipping sauce or something. But it's the perfect size for um, my dinner or lunch, um, like an entree or something like that. It's about a cup. It holds about a cup of my stoop. So it's the perfect serving size. Um, and yeah, it's, see it's about the size, actually my cup looks like it's bigger, but it's about the size of a measuring cup. So it's, it's perfect. And um, I'm just going to use uh, my lemon that I saved, the half of the lemon that I saved from earlier to uh, garnish my, my um, stoop just adds some extra layers of flavor and this particular recipe um, is enough to last me about a week and a half if I just eat it for dinner if I use it for lunch and dinner it's about uh, a week um, and I'm just using the rest of the lemon juice over my side salad which includes some English cucumber sliced English, English cucumber and some hearts of romaine and there's some uh, paprika and a little lemon pepper uh, sprinkled over that so that's going to be wonderful as well I'm just gonna squeeze the rest of I'm squeezing that that lemon for dear life but I'm gonna squeeze the rest of it over on my stew because I just I love lemon juice I'll put lemon juice on just about anything I tell you um so yeah this is this is really a really good one pot meal and now I'm just mixing everything in. All of the ingredients will be listed in the description box below this video. So please check it out. And I'm just going to show you guys what a forkful looks like. You can see the carrots and everything in there. Uh, the barley and the beans. And I'm going to take a bite. Um, and it really, really, really was good. So let me know if you guys try this. And let me know how you made it your own. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. Take care. You guys have a very great evening. Um, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.